Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the Super Shredder Sniper Rifle in Fortnite. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this and to begin we're gonna draw in kind of in the middle section first. So we're just gonna start out with one long rectangle. Okay, so once you have this, just kind of double this uh, line here. So we're coming back down and then we're just going to draw another rectangle across, but leave this open. Okay, and then from here, we're going to extend this line going out, come down a little bit, and then we're just going to come in and just kind of curve this area here. All right, so you have one rectangle and then another one on the bottom. So we're gonna continue on with this area right here. We're gonna extend it slightly back, go up, and then just curve it, come back to this rectangle. All right, so let's draw in, uh, let's try to draw in the grip so we know where we are. So from here, we're gonna come down. Let's draw a little line like this and then just Give it some thickness, and then this is gonna be the trigger. Okay, and then from here we can draw in the grip. So, just gonna curve down, slant, and then we're gonna curve back up, slightly, up, like almost the same line as that. We'll add a little bit of detail on the bottom here. And then there's going to be a little bit of detail in the grip, so we're going to draw in, let's draw in a rectangle like this, and then we'll add in two screws. Okay, so before, well, there's some more detail, but let's let's draw more on the gun. So right in here, let's draw a circle, and another circle. So let's finish up the, the stock since we're back here. So from this line here, just go out and same thing here. Just go out. And then we're gonna close it. We're gonna extend it more on the bottom. Just draw one rectangle here. And we're gonna give a little line here. And then let's add in a little bit of detail. We'll draw a circle. And then we're gonna draw a line right over it. And we're gonna come down. And then we're just gonna go all the way across. All right, and let's add in some uh, detail up here. There's gonna be a little vent. More like three lines, so one, two, and three. All right, so let's add in, let's see, let's finish up this top area. There's a little bit of a detail up here for the site. So now let's work on a, uh, the front of the gun and this one's a little bit trickier right here um, just because of this part right here. So from here, just draw like a little line which is going to be the same as this one but leave a little gap because I need to draw on these tubings here. So we're going to start up higher and just kind of curl it. Okay, so I'll draw another one, curl it, and then straight out, draw one more. Curl it. So from here, I'm going to draw, extend this line. Curve down and we're just going to draw in this shape here. And then right underneath it, we're going to draw in this tank, the CO2 tank. So we can just curve. And then we're just going to come across. Then it's going to have some straps here. Your one strap, two strap. Add in a little bit of detail on the top right here. And then we're going to divide this one, which is a little line. And then up here, we'll just draw some, some details. So this is, we're just kind of following this shape here. And then right here, we'll add one more line for some detail. Okay, so back here, uh, let's move back here. I'm gonna come down and just draw in, just close that off. 
and then we're gonna draw in right at the end of the tube just kind of connect that all right so let's move on to the to the actual barrel itself finally okay so we're gonna extend this line pretty far out and then we're gonna have to come back here so we're gonna draw one straight line across around here we're gonna go up and then we are just cut all the way out and slightly past this point here I guess there's gonna be a little bit of slant coming back down okay and then from here let's see let's add in a little bit of detail here we'll add in one little square and then we're gonna come across with another line And there's gonna be some railing here, so I'm just gonna add a bunch of little rectangles up here. Okay, and then let's see, let's add in the sight. Just drawing that shape and then give it some thickness. And then we'll add in one little detail there, and then we're gonna there's a little bit of a bevel here, so I'm gonna extend this line here. Let's go all the way out. And then there's gonna be right around here, it's gonna be like a red marking here. So we're gonna come across. I give that line some thickness and we just gotta come all the way across. That's a little bit harder to see right now, but once we color it, it will look really cool. All right, so let's draw, let's draw the uh, little shark face here. So this one, the mouth is easy. We're just gonna curve back in and then just kind of curve it back down. It means teeth, so I'm just gonna draw. Can't draw too many. I'm just gonna draw three on top, and then I'm just gonna add some teeth on the bottom wherever there's some spacing. And then the eye slant, close it off with a curve, shade it in for the eyeball, and then the tip here is gonna be a little bit of detail too. The barrel. All right, so now that we have the full gun, let's add in some detail. So for the tank, there's going to be just a little CO2 lettering. And we're going to come back up here. I draw one line across. And then there's going to be a red bar here. So this part's going to be red. So we're going to come all the way back, come down. Let's go across. And then finally, there's going to be, well, let's see. Add a couple more screws here. And then finally, there's a tube here that goes from here to here. So it's gonna go from here, right there, to this point. So I'm just gonna draw two circles and I'm just gonna draw right over it. So I'm gonna curve it, and just kind of wiggle yourself into the middle here. And just kind of connect that. And then just gonna give it some thickness. So if you're doing this in pencil, then you can just kind of erase out. You can erase out those lines in between. Okay, inside these two lines. And then there's gonna be a bracket right here. And that is it for this Super Shredder in Fortnite. Hope you guys liked the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.